so I can't talk very loud because we're being interviewed in that room down there for the local TV station about some of our videos. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, they're going to be watching, they're going to be recording me make my video today over like over there or somewhere. And so they're recording for TV and I'm going to be in an interview in a few minutes. And it's going to be super cool. So Hello nerd friends, um, today is actually a really special video because we have our local TV station recording over there with a way nicer camera, but uh, today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite Hamilton songs. So number six is uh, Alexander Hamilton, which is the first song in the 46 song album. So the reason I like this is just it's very, it starts off kind of, it's not happy, but it's not sad where it's just trying to like pump you up. It's like, it's like a pep song talk, pep talk song. Um, I just think that it's really catchy and it's fun to know the words cause there's like quizzes and stuff that you can take online and I'm, I, I'm usually really good at those. So number five uh, has got to be probably satisfied cause it's like the second or third fastest one to like li re remember. Uh, I learned this one before I had a book that has all the lyrics, because now I have a book about that. But originally I didn't, so I had to learn this by myself. And I've pretty much gotten it. It's been a while since I've done it. Because, like, this one, the reason I've kept it on this list, because I haven't listened to it as forever, is because it brings back so many memories. Because, like, I was at this summer camp that I went to, and I had a couple of friends that knew the song, too. And we all started singing it at the same time, and we sang it from start to finish. Uh, pretty much assigning random parts to the song as we went. So I just think that that's the reason that song is on this list is because it, it's really good, it's pretty quick, and it just brings back a lot of memories. So number four has probably got to be Right Hand Man because I know certain people that it is their favorite song on any list for that general genre. But I just think that because it's, really, it's, it's more of a pep talk song than Alexander Hamilton is. Where George Washington, they're kind. The Americans are kind of losing the war with the British, so they're kind of. So he's getting kind of concerned over, like, are we gonna win this or not? We kind of gotta rally the troops. We gotta. We gotta stop. You know, chickening out. We gotta. We gotta really fight. And so it just it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then there's just this part where Burr shows up, and he just sort of starts making fun of Washington until there's a point where he just tells him to leave, basically. When Hamilton shows up, he just says, Berg, get out, basically. What does he say? He says, uh, close the door on your way out. So I just think that that song is really cool because it's kind of like a, it's like a rally the troops song. It basically is a rally the troops song. So they're, they're really going into a bigger, a bigger thing where, like, this is a war. We're actually going to fight in this war and we're going to try, we're going to win. No matter what people say, we're going to win. And no, who cares what people say? So, yeah. Uh, number three is probably going to be, I don't know why I'm saying probably, these are definitely, there is a list right here, it's not probably, it is definitely these songs. I came up with these, we're good. Uh, number three is probably going to be Yorktown, because it is, it is the battle, it is the pretty much defining battle of the Revolutionary War, which is true historically, but I just think that this song is really cool because it starts as like, it's like, quick but it's quiet and then it gets really big and crazy and then we get to the actual battling part and it's really quick and really fast paced and loud and energetic in that battle they kind of know what's going to happen because they have a spy a spy on the inside uh, if you get that joke you, you're, you're awesome um but that i just thought that part was really funny because just the things that were said is just hilarious and if you haven't heard the song before like when i first learned this heard this song i was really liking it and then i heard that part and i just started laughing and i think it was in like a library when i heard it because i had got the song and i I'd go to the library sometimes with my friends uh, during the summer so i heard that song and i just started laughing just really loudly in the library and people were like looking at me and i was like oh crap i really <laughs> I should probably stop laughing, but I just that that song also gives me really good memories and it's a really catchy song. So number two is probably gonna be nonstop because it's the one it's number twenty-three, it's the half point song. This is right after the war. This is kind of like a 
what are they doing now? And this is number 23, so there's still a whole half of a musical to go, but it's just, it's kind of long, but it's, it's good that it's long because it really, it describes like right after the war, both Alexander and Burr go to New York and they become lawyers pretty much next to each other. Not actually next to each other, but like in the same like district and like street basically. So they're super close and Hamilton is still working on the United States Constitution. It's kind of like all the other songs that I've now talked about where it starts off kind of fast paced and repetitive and then it goes to this crazy thing. And then at the end of this huge round with a bunch of people singing their own little like, their, their, their catchphrases throughout the, the show. And I just think that's really cool because there's just all these voices going and it's just, and there's music going around and it's just super cool and it's really fun and it's nice to listen to when you're bored or when you're not bored, whatever, it's just nice to listen to. Number one has got to be Guns and Ships because it's, it's so fast and it's fun to blow people away that I can actually do it. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of fun, uh, but it's just, it's, it's kind of what Right Hand Man wasn't where it is like a lift up story it's kind of, it's it's a rally it's more of a rally the troop story than a pep talk but we're we're learning that because Hamilton has just been fired for um being a part of a duel with Charles Lee that guy little jerk um <laughs> but he so he's been fired and they're about to fight in Yorktown and Hamilton this entire show has been wanting to be like a general to have his own army to go and win a battle but he, he probably didn't think he was ever going to win the battle that defined the war. He, he just wanted to fly above his station, which basically means go higher on the status. So that's basically why I love that song. It's just because it's basically the defining point for the entire rest of the show. He's more important than he would have been if he was just a soldier. That is my top six, not five, even though I said five earlier, but it's actually six favorite songs. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome stuff. And I will see you next week.